the Brocade 3 study is a phase 3 study. It's looking at the combination of Veliparib, which is a PARP inhibitor, in combination with carboplatin and paclitaxel, versus placebo and the chemotherapy in patients with germline BRCA mutation positive breast cancers in the advanced setting. So this was a phase 3 trial and the idea was that patients were to receive the combination until progression but in patients in the veliparib arm they could receive veliparib monotherapy after they couldn't tolerate the chemotherapy anymore so they could stop the chemo and continue on with the veliparib which is the PARP inhibitor as a single agent and that's different to the control arm because they continued on placebo. So the population was largely an untreated first-line population and in the um, when we think about BRCA carriers, we, ask, we want to know how much prior platinum exposure that they've had. And these patients had less than 10% prior platinum exposure. So that's very different to some of the studies with PARP inhibitors. So the trial was positive. It met its primary endpoint in that the progression-free survival was improved with the addition of Veliparib. Interestingly, both arms received on average around 11 cycles of carboplatin and paclitaxel. So the veliparib didn't seem to add any excessive toxicity to the combination. But when you look at the survival curves, it does look like the curves are roughly overlapping for those 11 cycles with equivalent response rates for both arms. And the effect does seem to be after when the chemo stops so the separation at two and three years is very much in favour of the veliparib monotherapy for the patients that just continue that compared to patients who were on placebo. So it's unclear to me if the effect of this treatment is due to the veliparib combination chemotherapy up front and or the continuation of the veliparib monotherapy. Certainly the data in ovarian suggests that the maintenance um, PARP inhibitor is important and certainly you're selecting out the patients that are still responding to treatment and continuing them on active treatment therapy which was unlike the placebo control um, so the main, there are a lot of adverse events, obviously, with the chemotherapy combination, which is important for patients who are in the incurable setting. There's not been any formal patient reported outcomes presented, so that will be important for the understanding the data, because obviously the current ESMO guidelines suggest that we should be treating patients sequentially for better quality of life. And if you look at the other data with the PARP inhibitors, so Alaparib and Talisoparib are approved as monotherapy. And it certainly seems that their response rates are quite high as single agents, and they do have less toxicity as compared with chemotherapy. But it's unclear how we should sequence chemotherapy and PARP inhibitors, which you should do first or second. So I think it does, it looks very good. The combination, the overall survival as yet is not yet significant, um, but there are obviously issues with giving patients an intensive chemotherapy regimen up front. So I think we need to wait for overall survival data, that's my impression. And I think the trial, the most important trial for these patients is looking at perhaps the brocade, um, maybe a PARP inhibitor up front, or, and perhaps looking at a ovarian um, strategy, which is carbotaxel followed by maintenance PARP. So just to try and understand what's best for these patients.